Hello, my name is Shane, and I am a heartless. And I don't think pineapple belongs on pizza. <laughs> uh, the guys up in sales dared me to say that. So Heartless Limited works for Organization 13, now known as the 13 Seekers of Darkness. You know, they're a big deal in our world. They're like One Direction, if One Direction was a terrorist cell. Xemnas is one of the higher-ups. He's... he's a unique fellow. He's, he's eccentric. Or whatever the depressed version of eccentric is. He's motivated, he has energy. But then he'll use that energy to go on about how nothing can mean anything. So nothing means anything and everything is nothing. Normally someone would call a counsellor, but he seems fine with how he is. Then there's Ansem, who is the heartless form of Xemnas. You know, he's a heartless, you can't tell because he's quite ripped compared to the rest of us. You know, he's a good role model, he hits the gym a lot. You know, I've tried hitting the gym, but you know, but, but he hits back. <laughs> Zigbar is the right-hand man to everyone, but even if he was put in charge, he'd probably find a way to be his own assistant. Zigbar actually had a secret identity for a while. He'd been hiding it since day one, but he had Xehanort hold a meeting to announce that he is actually uh, Matthew McConaughey's brother, Zigbar McConaughey. It's true. The resemblance is kind of there, the voice is near identical. Now that I've said it, you'll never not hear it. In fact, he actually did some voiceover work for a couple of his brother's Lincoln commercials. If you, if you listen closely, you can hear the switch. I've been driving a Lincoln since long before anybody paid me to drive one. If I had a keyblade, it'd be different. Larkseen, Luxord, and Marluxia are their own little clique within the group. Uh, you're probably noticing a lot of X's. You see, when someone becomes a nobody, like they are, uh, they get a new name. And that new name is an anagram of their old name with an added X. Those three don't have memories from before they were nobodies, so they just put X's in anything. The other day, I was in the elevator with Marluxia, and I said, Hi, how are you? And he said, Jimes good, Jao Yuks makes it impossible to play Scrabble with them. Whenever they play, it sounds like they're testing lightsabers. At the further end, there's Dark Riku. We had an awareness seminar about him, actually. Hang on, let me try to remember what they said. He's not Riku. He's a replica of Riku, but not the replica. He's the second one. And he's a replica of Riku Riku, not Ansem, who used Riku's physical form to create his own self. I don't know. Sheila, our HR manager, she described it a lot better than I just did. There's a lot of Rikus. Yeah, at this point, we're all expecting our forms to become redundant, so then we'll all have to become a Riku. You know, I'm happy to try that out. I mean, Riku's a good looking young man. He's a good body. My body looks like a... looks like a peanut. At the very end, there's Shion. Uh, my son, David, he has a huge crush on her. You know, she's the pretty one. In real life, she's a mess. She cries non-stop. Now, at first, we were sympathetic to her and made sure that she knew she could talk about whatever she was going through to anyone. But we threw her a birthday party and she was still crying. What's she crying about? Now, now, some of us are just annoyed. We're running out of wet floor signs. And finally, there's Master Xehanort. He's the leader of the team, the architect of every major Disney event of the last 17 years. He's very influential. But you have to kind of feel bad for the guy. Because his entire team, you know, has hair. And, and lots of it, like flowing locks. And seeing him as the spokesperson, it's really obvious what he's lacking. It's like seeing an amputee in charge of an octopus exhibit. I believe that the 13 Seekers of Darkness, in collaboration with Heartless Limited, have a real chance in winning the upcoming Keyblade War. And if we lose, it's no big deal. We can come back as nobodies. I call myself uh, Shane X, or Shanix, Hexan, or, or Sexna. That's what my wife says every night. You can edit that out, right? I was kidding. I didn't mean. <laughs>